Good day, YouTube. Just a quick one today, because I'm so damn impressed with this product. Diodario XLR8 String Cleaner and Lubricator. And it's been covered many times before on YouTube, but most people don't mention that it's very good at preventing string rust if you clean it and lubricate it after use. Uh, so I've got this superhuman ability to rust strings within a couple of hours. I can put a new batch on there that day, play for a couple of hours, strings are completely rusty. <sighs> and I've always bought Elixir strings for many years now because they do prolong the life of your guitar strings. You can probably get about 12 sessions out of there and they're, yeah, they last a fair while. Um, but with those, like, after a while, like the, all the like the coating starts fraying off the strings, and I don't know you can't really clean them very much because the, the, the coating comes off. And I was at the guitar shop about six months ago, and some guy said, um, when I was buying some coated strings, he said, "Hey man, have you ever tried just buying some string cleaner, lubricator?" And I said, "No, I haven't tried that yet." So it's been in the back of my mind for like six months, and finally when I bought some new guitar strings, because I buy them in bulk. I just went with these standard, you know, uncoated strings. You know, you know like a... Blah, blah, blah. Oh, Ernie Balls, uncoated. These ones are skinny top, heavy bottoms, but, you know, other ones like Ernie Ball hybrid slinkies. But whatever. Uncoated. And I've been experimenting lately, getting in better habits. And before I start playing my guitar, I like get a hand wipe, clean my hand first. You know, thrash away for a couple of hours or whatever. Then after I'm finished with the guitar, you don't have to use a branded version, but any cloth that do, but this is a Fender microfiber cloth. So after you finish, just bloody wipe down the strings and underneath because you get a lot of gunk and shit underneath so i just you know wrap it underneath and then clean all up and down the strings Ugh. you get the gist give it a good clean up and down and then apply the xlr rate and i shit you not these guitar strings last a hell of a long time just give it a quick rub up and down And you're good to go and I've tested this for the last two weeks bear in mind I can rust strings in one session one two hour session two one hour sessions I've thrashed this guitar but kept on cleaning the strings down after each use for at least 20 sessions now 20 sessions and the strings Still, uh, you probably can't notice on this shitty camera, but the strings still feel like new. There's some darkening of the strings, but there's no gunk under there. You know, there's there's no major rust or anything. They're in very good condition. If you're not used to using lubricated strings, it takes a few sessions to get used to it. You know, feeling and playing a greasy guitar neck, but. I now wonder how I got by without it. It's bloody fantastic. So this video is basically a testament to, yes, if you wipe down your guitar strings, top and bottom, lubricate it with a product like this. I haven't tried any other alternatives, but this is the first time I've tried cleaning my strings with something like this. Must be 20 sessions later, the strings are still in bloody good condition. I'm bloody amazed. Bloody hell. I'm not getting paid for this video. It's just a rusty fingered guy that plays guitar that has finally found a solution to my problem without spending a heap of money on guitar strings. It does work. Take it from me. Because I'm no one. Cheers.